Hello and welcome to Just Calvin Movie Reviews. This is Calvin talking, um, as the title said, you know, um, with my regular quarantine hair, you know. I woke up, washed it, and uh, this is what it looks like. So that's what it's going to look like in the review. Um, today we're talking about the 2017 film, One Cut of the Dead. Um, it has a really nice steel book in the States, uh, which, you know, I'm a fan of steel books. So when I saw this movie out of steel book, I'm like, we'll pick that up. Totally a blind buy because I've never seen this film before this time, um, and I'm happy I saw it. All I knew about it going in was that it was a, had a 30 minute long one take, um, which is where the camera doesn't get cut between uh, shots, so it's just a one long 30 minute continuous shot. And I mean, you can have like some interesting one takes, like like I don't know, length of a one take doesn't really impress me because honestly. Um, you could put a camera just pointed at a building for six hours and you'd have a six hour long one take, um, you know, because there's no cuts. It's just a six hour building footage. Um, so length doesn't really like um, mean much to me. Like 20, 1917, that whole film is made to look like a one take. Um, it do, it's not actually a one take, um, but it's made to look like one. Um, and even like uh, some other famous one takes are the Kingsman, uh, the Secret Service church fight scene that is made to look like a one take and it looks incredible. Um, and it usually means there's hidden cuts because um, like it's really hard to do a one take because the choreography um, and also like you have to like memorize lines and you have to do those lines without fail. Um, but this movie has a genuine 30 minute long one take. Um, so while the ones I mentioned before aren't really one, one takes, like the Kingsman fight scene has a bunch of hidden cuts, 1917 has a bunch of hidden cuts, and then one very obvious, like, actual cut. Um, but, nine, uh, but one cut of the dead, that first 30 minute scene is completely a one shot take. And it is incredible. Um, cause it's not just like, the camera is moving with the actors, cause it's a zombie film. And so like, you have these actors being chased around by zombies. Um, and then you have the camera, and the camera is almost a uh, character in it. Like, you'll have moments where the camera falls down, um, there's like a literal scene where they have to wipe blood off the camera. So, I mean, it's very um, frenetic and fast paced, um, that one take, which is impressive because, like, that means they had to do this one shot, this 30 minute shot, without um, fail. And I'm sure, like, they had little mistakes here and there, but they had to just, like, keep rolling with it. Um, for the to keep get this incredible take um and it's truly impressive and i love the camera they use because it makes it look very like low budget and sort of like grindhouse almost um just due to like how low budget it looks like it's like a low budget digital camera um sort of what they used in like cloverfield and stuff like that to make it look like you know low budget um but this is incredible like this one shot this one take is truly it's it, it's fast paced you just keep going um, it's like a roller coaster ride, and you're like, well, what's the rest of the movie? Because obviously, a movie isn't 30 minutes long, um, at least like a feature, um, and it is a feature. Um, well, I'm not going to spoil that um, because um, going into it blind, uh, I sort of was surprised by where it went because I wasn't really expecting that. Like I'd seen the trailer, and that sort of gives it away. So don't watch the trailer because um, it will give away the sort of the spoiler of what the second half of the film is. But um, Watching, like, the second half of the film, I will say, it, it, it's very fun. Um, especially, and, it's, and it keeps up the fast pace, too. Like, this whole film feels like a roller coaster ride. Like, it's an hour and 30 minutes long, and it doesn't feel like that. It feels just so quick. Like, it just, like, stuff is just going bam, 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 um, like, throughout the entire thing. Um, which makes this film just incredibly um, fun to watch. Um, and it's a comedy. Um, so it's a zombie comedy, which, I mean, you have Shaun of the Dead is probably, like, the big one. And then you have, like, a bunch of other horror movie comedies, like Scary Movie and stuff like that. But uh, I think this is probably one of the better ones out there. Um, and I recommend it. Because it is just... First off, you have the one take, which is just, like, it's impressive. Like, I like film students should watch this film, partially because I think it has, like... It's a very fun movie to watch if you've seen... If you've made a movie, just because of how the plot is. It's very fun to watch that way. Um, but even if you haven't made a movie, it's just a fun zombie movie um, with an incredible, a, a incredible one shot, um, and it's just it, the skill on display there is incredible. Um, what else to talk about? Um, it is a Japanese film, um, 
I don't know why I mentioned that this late in the review, but um, if you want to know the country of origin, so it is subtitled, um, but I mean, it's subtitled, just read it. It's, it's good. Don't get a dub. Please don't. Subs are better. Um, but this movie is like, I don't know what else to say, because if I do say much more, I'll spoil it. Like the acting, it's sort of cheesy acting. Like it's not like you're going to win an Oscar acting, but it's sort of like fun, especially with the premise. Like it's sort of like almost a cheesy zombie movie. Um, which makes it a better comedy, in my opinion. Um, and I really enjoy it. Um, yeah, I, there's not much to say about it, because I'll spoil it if I say any more. But uh, if you want to see an incredible one-take in a film, um, this is one. And it, for me, it's far more impressive than 1917, just because it's a genuine one. And it also is just more entertaining, honestly. Um, but 1917, still a great film. Very technically well-made, but I like the techni I like the feel of this one more. Um, so you have the incredible 30 minute one take, you have like incredible comedy after that, like it is a hilarious movie. Um, and I mean, it's fun. Um, it's a very fun movie. And um, I think it's one that you should watch with friends, because it is just sort of like a very fast paced fun comedy that I think everyone can sort of enjoy. Um, that also has some technical prowess, because a lot of times like comedies are sort of like, they're very like boring to shoot and stuff like that, but this movie is not. This movie is very like well shot, the camera makes it feel frenetic and fast, it's just enjoyable. Um, so that's my review of One Cut of the Dead. I highly recommend it, I think it's one of the best horror comedies I've seen in a while. And now to talk about what I'll watch this Thursday. Um, well, I mean, it's a vote, obviously, I always have those votes for Thursday movies. Um, I didn't know what to do, honestly, because um, I looked at my movie collection. I'm just trying to watch all of these eventually, because some of them I haven't watched because I just buy them, and I'm like, I'll watch it someday, because I just love owning physical media. Um, but we got Charade and uh, Whiplash, so I'm going to put that vote up after I upload this video. Um, I'll give you a little bit of knowledge of these. So Whiplash is by my... Uh, by Damien Chazelle. It has uh, Miles Teller and J.K. Simmons in it, and it's supposed to be incredible. Also, this steelbook is incredible, even though it has a scratch there, but it's incredible. Um, but yeah, it's done by Damien Chazelle, who did La La Land. Um, this is a film he did before La La Land, and I've only seen La La Land, and I love that film. So I'm excited to watch this one. And then Charade um, stars two great actors of sort of that like old Hollywood era. It has Cary Grant and Audrey Hepburn in it. It's a uh, on the back, it says it's a comedic thriller. I have not seen this movie since I was a kid, and as a kid, I was like, oh, this is sort of creepy, but I think as an adult, I'll probably get the comedy, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> but it's a very enjoyable film. I remember it being very colorful um, as a kid, and it's sort of like a mystery, and I love mysteries. Um, so honestly, I don't mind watching either of those. Um, probably the one that doesn't get voted on, I'll still watch, just not do a review, um, because, you know, I, I want to watch both of them. But yeah, um, so that's been the review uh, for One Cut of the Dead and the upcoming week, and I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will see you all soon. Stay positive.